Well, hello and welcome to part four of the assembly of the um, electronic stop labels for your Hauptwerk virtual pipe organ. What we've done so far is I've taken you through the core set of components, described each one. Then we've dealt with the assembly and soldering of the connectors onto the PCBs. Uh, we looked at connecting the PCBs to the Arduino DUE. Um, then we looked at mounting the stop switch bodies onto the stop plate and uh, as part of that um, we uh, completed uh, the I showed you the completion of the process of putting all the stop switches into position and then fitting the last PCB into position on the uh, stop plate. <clears throat> We're ready now to start connecting the uh, PCBs to the Arduino DUE. So what we're going to do now is to take the Arduino DUE and we're going to put it in position and the way I've fixed it here you can see this plastic base this plastic base comes with the Arduino DUE and I've put two sticky tabs underneath and attached it to the stop plate and then definitely does. There we are. Okay, I had the central connector already in place, so I've left it in position. In the manual, where we talk about the cables, one thing you will note is that the first of the cables that we describe is this one. This is um, uh, a cable which connects the three uh, PCBs together. It has three IDC, insulation displacement connectors, on uh, that one cable. It's actually a full length cable and it's folded um, so that we can connect, we can put one connector in the middle and one connector for the inner and one for the outer. And I've got that cable here, right, and I'm going to fit it onto the, um, on, in, in, onto the, the PCB. Now in order to fit it, you will notice when you look at them that they have one of these tabs here, which is intended to go into the slot that is on the pin header. So I'm pressing that down now into position. Take care, put your fingers underneath the PCB because you don't want to put any strain on the PCB in uh, making that connection. Now I'm going to do the one in the middle and I'm going to plug that into its socket in the middle there. in and then I'm going to do the far distant one here and that's now plugged in. So you'll see what I've done. I've connected uh, one, two, three connections, one into each PCB and we did that by making up the cable that I showed you um, a moment ago in the manual making up a cable like uh, this one and the instructions for making that cable are there in full detail um, in the construction manual. You need to take a length of ribbon cable, you need to fold it exactly as described here, fold it as, you, as it's been described and then attach a, um, a plug, an IDC plug uh, onto the ribbon cable as described and then plug that in as I've just done. What we can then do is we can take that central PCB cable that is plugged into the Arduino DUE and we can plug that into the central PCB's socket and I'm about to do that now. There it is, it's in. Okay and we have to make up two more cables a little similar to this one um, 
The first one here, this is for the outer cable, and this one's been made up for the outer cable on the right stop jam. Right, if when, when you make the outer cable up for the right stop jam, you do it as described in the manual, and it looks like that. When you come to do the left stop jam, you make it you make the left the left stop jam uh, in a ca uh, outer cable look like this. This is explained in the manual because basically the um, inner and the outer cables are swapped over between the two stop plates. Okay, so we take the right on the on the right stop jam, which is the one I've, I've got here. We take the inner PCB. Now the way this is fixed up in your org in your organ is uh, that this one here is the right stop jam, uh, and therefore this is the inner PCB, the one that would be by the console in the centre of the console. So that one, we plug that one in there like that. there and then we have to connect this plug that in right that's that one done next we're going to do the outer outer cable which is here and first of all I'm going to plug it in like that right and then I need to plug this into the correct positions here, which is 38 to 50. So if all that's correct, we should be able to um, to plug this in. And self-test all the OLEDs and all the PCBs together. So I've connected my cable into there. Having done that, I'm then going to turn this that way up and then I'm going to connect it into my power supply and we're going to see what happens. It's gone in now. Right, I don't know whether you saw that, but they all the OLEDs have lit up now. I don't know whether you can see that there are labels, text labels on all the OLEDs, right? We should then examine the numbers on each of the OLEDs to make sure that they marry up with the expected stop numbers. And in the right hand stop jam, we're using a symmetric arrangement between the two stop jams. So in the right hand stop jam, that is stop number one two, three, four, and this is exactly what we've got here. L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, L6, all the way down to L19 and 20. Um, we've got here uh, L39 and 40, which is what we'd expect, and L59 and 60 here. So we are, uh, we're all fine. Um, so, what we've done is constructed our um, uh, let our right hand stop jam and uh, we have all the uh, OLEDs in position. Uh, that completes uh, number four, part four of our uh, videos. Uh, I'm going to do one more part for you, part five, which is just going to discuss the connections between 
the stop switches and their LEDs and the MIDI encoders and decoders. Thank you very much.